Hi everybody, as we are at our homes and we are there missing absolutely everybody and everything, we can still do something creative, we can use our imagination and our hands and everything. So today I'm gonna to show you a very simple project for all of you. We are gonna to paint our dog, well, a dog and that would be a jigsaw. So let's start. We need to start with drawing a picture. Okay, we can start. What do we need? We need a pencil, a rubber, two pages. If you have paint, it's great to use paint, but if you don't have it at home, just get coloring pencils. We can do it this way. So how do we start? We need a big dog on our page. So we need to sketch it and whenever we have that done, we can get our paint and start to do it and start to paint our picture. Now. I've done the simple sketch already, so I'm pretty ready to do my painting now. You can use any colors you want, lads. That's your dog and your picture. Mine will be blue. Why not? I never saw a blue dog. I'm using tempera paint, but it's absolutely okay to use any of them you have at home. So keep painting whenever you have your dog done. We into small or big pieces. Well, that dog is starting to look a bit scary, but that's okay. We'll make him happy. We'll dress him in something funny. Okay, so when we finished our picture and it's all ready and painted, we can start cutting. As you can see, I've done the dog, I've done a little of the background as well. The dog looked a bit sad, so I had to dress him so it's more happy. And the little smile is over there as well. So I'm happy with the picture right now and we need to cut it. So what do you need? You need a pencil, a glue, roller and scissors. I'm not going to cut it anyway in the two small pieces because remember we have to stick it back. So to make my life easier I'm going to do a few little lines and cut it into pieces, not regular rectangles or squares, that can be a bit more funny. And you will see what, what it will look like. Maybe like that. Oh. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I need to show you one thing, okay? That page with your dog needs to be a little bit smaller than the other page you're gonna just stick it into, okay? Look how it looks like right now. This is a little bit smaller than A3. And my black page is just A3 size, so when I stick it, it should be absolutely perfect. Okay, scissors, and let's do it.
Okay, we are done now. So let's start to make our jigsaw. Now, one more thing, my dear boys and girls, I wouldn't use glue straight away. So I need to put it back into one picture first and glue it later on. Gee enough, I don't remember how to paint it. Okay, that looks like the legs. Nose. No. Uh, as you can see, it's not as easy. That's why I'm not sticking it straight away. It's not the worst idea. What was that? I hope it's gonna to look okay. Okay, I have a glue ready. So on the side, let's put a tiny bit of glue. And have a fun everybody! much glue. If you have a glue stick it would be even better, but I don't have it. I'm going to see a tiny little black lines between the jigsaw and the to be able to Okay, the last little piece needs to be stuck on and then our picture is ready. Now I have to tell you I can't wait when you have your pictures done and you send me a photo of it on my uh, website, crazyart.ie or you can send me the photo on my Facebook page, Marcel Witzka. Okay, let's see how does it look. Oh, it's not really straight. Well, it's a jigsaw. So I don't think it has to be perfect. What do you think? Once done, it's absolutely okay for all age groups, lads. Keep busy and send me pictures. See you soon!